uh, and the attackers, they're changing their ways. They're actually uh, adap uh, adapting their tactics and their procedures to exploit those innovation gaps. And the mindset that we've been advocating uh, at Palo Alto Networks is uh, the combination of using zero trust principles uh, in, com uh, in combination with a, a platform approach, right? So both of those things have to come in play. What is zero trust? Uh, many vendors say there's zero trust, but I distill zero trust into uh, three fundamental principles. The first principle is the idea of designing for resiliency. We're no longer in a game where cybersecurity is just keeping the bad guys out. We're in a game whereby our systems have to work regardless of the attacks. And to do that, you have to design. Uh, your design principles have to change. You actually have to design to anticipate cyber attacks in your environment. So designing for resiliency is key. The second bit is you've got to have continuous validation and deep inspection. You basically have to always check to make sure that the interaction is still um, what it's supposed to be. Because hackers evolve their their patterns, and so just because you authenticate someone doesn't mean that they're going to be good all the way through. So the principle in Zero Trust is always check, right? Always make sure they're still who they say they are. Um, and then the third principle is you need to be accurate and rapid in the way you respond.